Hello everyone. I welcome you on board flight of Captain Vijay. Have you ever wondered that why winds move in a circular path in a cyclone or anticyclone? And did you know that a bullet fired from a sniper rifle does not go in a perfect straight line? You will get to know the answers of these questions by end of this video. Today we will fly through a mysterious topic of Coriolis force. Force which creates many strange phenomena due to rotation of earth. So fasten your seat belts as we are ready for take off. What is Coriolis force? Is it a force at all? Well, the answer is no. There is no force. It's a perception of an observer on earth due to rotation of the earth. Due to rotation of the earth, we observe that any object moving freely in space in northern hemisphere appears to shift to the right and in southern hemisphere it appears to shift to the left why does it appear to shift to understand this first let's discuss about the earth's rotation on its own axis we all know that earth rotates about its own axis once in 24 hours and due to this we experience day and night so earth rotates 360 degrees in 24 hours which makes 15 degree of rotation per hour now let's measure the speed since earth radius is 6600 km so its perimeter at equator is roughly 40000 km so an object at equator is moving along with earth at a speed of 1666 km per hour approximately any object which is not at equator towards north or south will be moving at a slower speed since perimeter length will be shorter and at north and south pole the speed will be zero so by now you have understood that though the angular speed of rotation at all places on the earth is same 15 degree per hour but the physical speed is different and this is maximum at equator and least at poles and an intermediate value at all other places on the earth so this variation of earth speed at different locations give rise to the strange observations which we call coriolis force now we'll understand the effect of coriolis force with the help of an hypothetical example imagine that you are firing a bullet from a place which is at equator and the target is dead north at 30 degree of latitude your aim was precise and the sniper has got no defect when the bullet leaves the barrel apart from moving forward towards the target it is also moving to the right or east with the speed of earth which is 1666 km per hour for the purpose of explanation let us assume that the time of flight of the bullet to reach 30 degree north latitude was 1 hour so after 1 hour the observer that is you have moved right or east by 1666 km and your new location is as shown on the screen the bullet also moved right or east by 1666 km apart from moving towards the target and the bullet is still dead 12 o'clock to you but what about the target at 30 degree north the speed of earth is only 1442 km per hour So your target will move right or east only by 1442 km. So what will be the net result? The net result will be that bullet will cross 224 km to the right of the target in spite of you firing accurately. So everything has happened normally, but you will observe that the bullet has drifted to the right as it moved in space in northern hemisphere. If you make a similar calculation for southern hemisphere you will come to conclusion that all objects moving freely in space appear to drift to the left in southern hemisphere so this is what exactly is coriolis force or coriolis illusion for an observer the effect of coriolis force is evident on the winds and the clouds which travel large distances in north or south direction now in meteorology you must have read about the bible law 
Bible Lord's law state that if an observer in northern hemisphere is standing with his back towards the wind the low pressure area is on his left if low pressure area is on his left that means the high pressure area is on his right and wind blows from high pressure area to low pressure area so wind should ideally blow from his right to left but why the wind is coming from the back side well the answer is coriolis force wind started blowing from high pressure to low pressure area from your right to left but due to coriolis force coriolis effect or illusion whatever you want to call it it appears to have turned to the right and if wind blowing from your right to left curves to the right then of course it will blow from your back side that explains the bible lord's law from coriolis force perspective an understanding of coriolis force and its application will help you in a better understanding of geostrophic and gradient winds now let's see why does winds move in anti clockwise direction in a low or depression or a cyclone or a hurricane well all these are low pressure areas with lowest pressure in the center and isobars are closely spaced together since lowest pressure is in center all around it will be high pressure and the wind will start moving from high pressure to low pressure area but since this is northern hemisphere there will be a apparent turn or drift of winds to the right if winds coming in from all direction start curving to the right as it moves the net result is anti clockwise motion of the winds so that is why you see that winds move in anti clockwise direction around a low or a depression if you play a similar simulation for a high or a anti cyclone in northern hemisphere the highest pressure will be in the center so the wind will move outwards as it move outwards it will curve shift or drift to the right and you will notice that the wind will move in clockwise direction you can try and play this simulation yourself with a pen and paper for southern hemisphere and put in the comments below that what results did you get so that was the coriolis force in short which is nothing but an illusion for the observer due to differential speed of earth at different latitudes on the planet so hope this video has helped you in understanding the mysterious topic of coriolis force with this we have arrived at our destination hope to see you on board again for the next flight like share subscribe and comment if you wish happy landings